Muito bem, né? Eu acho que eu fico bem feliz com a minha performance e voltar. I feel very good. I knew that I need to I worked very hard to get this win and I needed this win, you know, for for me for this new space in my division. I felt I felt very good in there. Sim, acho que o primeiro round eu controlei bem. Segundo. Well, I, I knew I, I I did a very good first round. In the second round he came more aggressive, so you know, I knew that that, that told me I needed the win uh at the third round. And then like that position is a position that I train a lot. I knew that it's very strong. And that's why uh, I was able to win the round. Uh... I'm getting used to, you know, I need to do this one step at a time. I got Marlon in the first fight and then like the, the title, you know. And now is the third fight. I feel better and I'm getting, getting more confident in this weight. And I know that I have a long path. So I'm looking one step at a time. Dois grandes campeões. Né? Two former champs, so I think people would like to see that. The fans and the UFC, you know, he was the, the former uh, champ in the bantamweight. I was the former champ at the featherweight, so I think people would like to see it. He's going after Dana White. He's going after Connor. He's making it uncomfortable, but there's a whole generation of youngsters who love this sort of thing, who grew up like this. And and I feel like he he he's made, he's poking the bear right now. Connor has yet to respond as of right this moment. Dylan is responding. And can I just throw something out there? And maybe this this will upset some people. I think the Dylan thing was a work. I think the Dylan thing was a work. Not buying that. Um, saw the post from Brendan Schaub saw that he, he he promoted that Jake Paul makes an appearance in their little interview. I think it was a work and I know other people agree. Now, not taking away from the Connor thing, I don't think the Connor thing is a work because witness the fact Connor has yet to respond. He's not playing into it at all. But I am not going to dismiss Jake Paul fighting one of these guys, including a Nate Diaz in 2021 or 2022. We saw Kimbo on the Ultimate Fighter and no one ever saw that, what, thought that would happen. We saw CM Punk fight in the UFC with zero experience. Why wouldn't they explore Jake Paul versus one of these guys? Do I want to see it happen? No, I, I want to see Conor fight the best UFC fighters on the planet. Am I okay with the Dylan Dennis fight? Yeah, I think Bellator should actually explore that in some capacity. I know Scott has talked to Jake Paul, but this guy is is turning this fight game on its head. And anyone who dismisses him as A, not being a draw, and B, not being a legit fighter, 2-0, yes. But as you said, you're a fighter, not me. You said it. He has skills. You're fooling yourself. This guy's taking it seriously. But in the meantime, he's also poking everyone. 
and it's kind of crazy to watch it happen unfold in front of our eyes. You know, I was poking at uh, a guy ranked higher than me not too long ago on Twitter in the nicest way possible. He wasn't having it, but yes, this is two in a row. Rank number 11, I'm definitely working my way up. Give me somebody, give me, I wanna see the NMF versus the BMF, baby. Let's make that happen. Steven Wonderboy Thompson versus uh, uh, George Masvidal. Two, I know that he's talking about fighting Colby Covington, but we'll see. I mean, I, th I thought I knocked him out, honestly. Like, I saw his eyes, like, roll back, and he didn't know where he was at. Um, even after the fight, he's like, what did you hit me with? I was like, a spin hook kick, man. But uh, he's tough, dude. Like, my heel still hurts from the, from his head. Um, I set it up, like, dope, and I was in a southpaw stance, switched the orthodox stance. It's a lot of momentum on that kick, and, uh, you know, he ate it. So, uh, you know, I, I put big ups to Alex. He's a tough dude. I, I knew he was going to be a tough fight. You know, like, whoever fights me, they bring their A game. They're, you know, it's like they know they're fighting show time. It's an opportunity of a lifetime. And uh, I get I get the best fight of the, uh, fighters of, of, of themselves, you know. So um, I, I feel very proud of myself. Honestly, I, I showed a lot of great moves in there. Um, came through some adversity. I mean, if I went in there and knocked him out, it wouldn't as, have meant as much as it did right now. And I feel like um, these guys at 170, you know, like for me to get in that top 10, there's, there's they're big freaking dudes, man. Tyron Woodley trains in my camp, and then I, I felt his pressure, and um, you know, it's it's a different it's a different beast than 155, and I think. Um, the reason why I wasn't at 55 is this pure laziness. Like it was me, I'm outside of the octagon getting fat, um, just not caring how like I should care about my career and like doing some extracurricular activities I shouldn't have been taking part of, you know, like the clubs and all the partying scene and all the food that comes along with that. So I think I cleared that part of my life. I'm getting my life outside the octagon, like very straight. And, um, you know, I came in at 70 pretty shredded, but I know I can get down to 55 and, and be comfortable. And the last man was for sure to take him down uh, because you know we, are, uh, we knew that he's a heavy puncher and he proved it in the first first round. Uh, it was really hard to take him down in the first, based on you know once we got to the clinch and he squeezed me. I knew he was he's very strong, not maybe technical but very strong. So I knew he will get a little bit tired uh, in a second and then I will take him down. That, that, that was just adjustment, but that was still that was also a plan before the fight. I, I knew he's gassing out and he's tired and I, I, I was expecting he will try one more time to stand up, but he didn't. Uh, when I start 
you know, trying these punches from from the from the top. I knew the, that will be over sooner or later. At this point, I'm so confident about my skills. About when I go to the octagon, I can win, so I can fight anybody. That's either I climb the rankings or making money. Mm -hmm. uh, and sooner or later, I get there to the top, for sure.